Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand process state diagram. The basic concepts related to process and multi-programming has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, what is this process state diagram? So this is what we call it as the process state diagram. First, we will try to understand this process state diagram after that we will take a real world example and we will try to understand this process state diagram by using this diagram so which we are using this diagram from the previous four to five videos so now whenever the process is getting executed or a program is getting executed it will be there in any one of the states one of the states so the here we are having seven different states the process that is getting executed will be there in any one of the state the first state is new state whenever the program so whenever we are we are trying to execute a program that program will be there on the hard disk as and when we click on that so that program is ready so that we are willing we are we are trying to make that program to get executed now whenever we are willing to execute a program the program on the hard disk will be converted into a process so how a program uh, how a process will look like that we have already discussed now it is there on the hard disk and it it is waiting for its space to get uh, uh, shifted into the ready state so it is it is there on the hard disk or secondary memory so it will get shifted to primary or ram primary memory or main memory so it will get shifted onto the ram so then it will be there in the ready state as and when the time comes this process will get uh, will be transferred so it means that it will it will get transferred into the run state what it means is so the process in the ready state will execute its instructions instruction by instruction uh, the the instructions in the process will be shifted on to the cpu so as the instructions are getting executed the process is getting executed it means that this process is in the running state and if all the instructions of that process are completed if, if all the instructions are completed then it will go to the terminate state it will be shifted out from the RAM okay so this is what we call it as a terminate state and here there is another state here whenever the process is getting executed in between if there is an IO request if an IO request is made if, if the instruction is asking for an IO request so then that process will be shifted to the wait or block state which is there in the RAM itself okay so now it is waiting for its IO operation to get completed once the IO is completed completed once the io is completed that process will be shifted back to the ready state see here if the io is done so this process will get shifted into the ready state now if the process is waiting for the longest period of time and some other processes are also wanting uh, are also want uh, um, are also also want to get shifted into the wait or block state if there is no room for that waiting or uh, no room in the wait or block state then it will get shifted on to the suspend wait state so this suspend wait states here whenever this is this the process in the wait or block state is getting suspended it will get shifted to suspend wait state this is there on the hard disk so this suspend wait state is there on the hard disk and as and when the IO operation is done, it will get resumed to wait or block state. Similar to that of suspend and wait state, there is another state called suspend ready state. So what this suspend ready state is, there are some processes which are getting executed, which are there on the ready state. If a high pro priority process wants to come from new state to ready state, a, a high priority state, a high priority process is willing to come from new state to ready state. And there is no room for the process to get shifted from new, new state to ready state. Then what happens is one of the low priority state, uh, low priority process in the ready state will be shifted to the suspend ready state, will be shifted to the suspend ready state will be suspended to the suspend ready state as and when it finds some room then it will get resumed to 
ready state okay and one more state one more transition to understand here is as and when the uh, suspend weight if, if the processes are in the suspend weight state and if there is no room for this process to get shifted to weight or block state then what happens is the processes which are there in the suspend weight uh, after completion of its IO after completion of its IO still this process is not finding room in its weight or block state then what happens with this process is it will get shifted to the suspend ready state immediately finding the room in the ready state it will get shifted to ready state so this is how the processes will get shifted from one state to another state in the process of execution a process will be there in any one of these states okay so now we will try to understand the same concept by using this diagram so which is which is a, a real world example using a real world example we'll try to understand this uh, here what what we will discuss what we will assume is three processes are willing to get executed so three processes process p1 process p2 and process p3 assume that this is word document this is music file and this is a movie download so this is a movie download and these are all these are the three different processes and they are willing to get executed now what happens is so the the applications which are there on the hard disk will get converted into a process so how the process will be that we have already discussed now what happens is all these new processes will get shifted on to the main memory for example here the process p1 is there here process p2 is there and here process p3 p3 is there let's assume that so let's try to visualize the things in that way now once they are on the RAM, so the processes will get executed on the CPU. For example, if, uh, if process P1 is getting executed, so CPU requested for the instructions of the P1. Now what happens is instruction by instruction, the instructions in the P1 will get shifted onto the CPU, will get shifted onto the CPU. If all the instructions on the, on the, uh, if all the instructions in the PU, P1 got executed, then it will be terminated, it will be removed from the main memory. For example, if P1 is requesting for an IO operation, if P1 is requesting for IO operation, then what happens? So, this P1 will be there in the RAM itself, but it will get shifted to weight, weight or block queue. Okay, from the ready queue, from the ready queue, the process will get shifted to weight or block queue. It is there in the on the RAM itself. Try to get that point. Okay, so now as the process is there in the weight state, as the process is there uh, is there in the weight state. For example, if process P4, P4, sorry, so if while executing this it asked for IO request right so it is there in the wait or block state now if a P4 is a process which is requesting to go into the uh, main memory and it is of highest priority and assume that assume that there is no room for this p4 now what happens is among these processes one of the low priority process for example assume that p3 is the low priority process then it will get shifted to it will get shifted to secondary memory so this is what we call it as suspend ready okay and if the waiter blocking state is filled with all the processes so most uh, more processes are waiting in the waiter block state and one more process for example p2 is willing to go into the waiter block state means it is willing uh, it is requesting for an io operation and there is no space for wait or block now what happens is one one of the process which is waiting for the long from the longest period of time uh, longest period of time will get shifted onto the hard disk onto the hard disk which is suspend wait state okay so this is how the things will get executed on the computer and all these processes are to be managed and that management is done by the operating system so the shifting of process from cpu to cpu to the ready state ready state to suspend ready suspend ready to suspend wait so all these uh, shifting of processes and managing those processes is done by the operating system and it is one of the functionality of the operating system okay so this is all about process state diagram Hope you got the clarity on this concept. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. And if you have any doubts regarding this concept, please 
post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching